Hey guys, my name is Savannah and today I thought we would do something just a little bit different. With us getting the Grasslands pack coming to Planet Zoo on December 13th, so only a few days away, a couple of the animals that they're introducing are different species or subspecies of animals that we already have in the game. And the one that you're looking at right now is the one that we saw today, if you're watching this video right when it went live, the blue wildebeest. And so that got me thinking, uh, I don't actually remember what the black wildebeest looks like in game. So I thought today we would do just a little bit of compare and contrast and just talk about wildebeest in general. So if we go ahead and switch over, I actually went in game and I took a picture of the black wildebeest and here you can see them side by side. So on the left, black wildebeest, on the right, the new blue wildebeest that we're getting. Now, of course, I don't have a screenshot of it in game. This is just the screenshot that Planet Zoo revealed earlier today, but we get a really good idea about the differences of these two animals. Because when we get reskins, if you will, and what you want to call them, people oftentimes just think the colorations are different, but there's actually quite a few differences between these two guys, just like there are in real life. First and foremost, obviously their horns are much different. The black wildebeest is going to have much longer, more prominent horns on the top of its head. The blue wildebeest horns are much smaller. Both male and female wildebeest do grow horns. These, I think the Planet Zoo screenshot is a male. The one that I took a screenshot of is a male in game. Um, so I was just trying to match them up as best as possible. But horns are obviously very different. And then the second most notable thing is the coloration. The black wildebeest is shocker. It's black. The blue wildebeest has some pattern to it where it's got those stripes on the neck. It's got that facial pattern where the eyes, the bridge of the nose and the snout is all really dark. And then the cheeks are more of like a gray silvery color. The blue wildebeest has way more prominent of a beard that goes under its chin all the way down its chest. So it's got all that hair underneath it. And then even the mane on the blue wildebeest, you can see kind of sticks up really prominently, goes all the way down the neck over the shoulders. And the blue wildebeest has much more of like a Chevalsky's wild horse looking mane, not really these like tufts of hair, but like a true kind of puffy mane on it. Um, so those are just the main noticeable differences right off the bat between these two models that you can tell just by looking at them. Now, I actually spent the last 30 minutes or so reading about wildebeest because I don't know too much about them. And the first thing that I learned is they're also called news, spelled G-N-U-S. And I had no idea. They, the wildebeest name is just kind of a common name that we have given them in English. But I guess in Africa, new and wildebeest is kind of used interchangeably. Um, and so that is that is also a name that they have. The other thing that I didn't realize is that these two are pretty much the only two species of wildebeest that we have. Um, and from my understanding, it's kind of like a northern and southern um, where they kind of uh, diverged a, a bunch of years ago. I forget how long ago the information that I read said. Um, but they basically were one species and split off from one another long, long time ago. Um, the black wild, I'm sorry, the blue wildebeest, also known as the common wildebeest, because I had to go down that rabbit hole and figure out if it was talking about the same animal. Um, but yeah, I found that really interesting that these are basically the only two species of wildebeest um, that are widely, you know, recognized. So very interesting. Both species are obviously found in, you know, through Southern and Eastern Africa, going to share kind of the same habitat, have the same kind of ecosystem fit it within their um, habitat being obviously the main, not main food source, but one of the food sources for lions, cheetahs, hyenas, some of those predators that share their same ecosystem. They both are also herbivores, so munching on grasses, as you can kind of see that right one looks like he's doing a little bit of um grasses sometimes leaves and things like that and then they both kind of migrate across africa during certain times of the year in search of food they both are stable species uh according to the iucn so that's great populations are actually growing in africa which is awesome hopefully they don't grow too too much because you know too much of a good thing can also be bad 
Whereas a lot of times you think about conservation as you need to save the species, there's not enough of them, but sometimes there also can be too many when an ecosystem gets out of balance as well. It's not to that point yet. I just like talking about that because I find conservation so interesting. Um, but yeah, so I am imagining in game when it comes to actually their habitat needs and, and you know, in game stuff. I imagine these guys are going to be really, really similar um, just because Planet Zoo doesn't make a lot of distinction between different species. Um, so I imagine like size requirements, the foliage and all that kind of stuff is likely going to be exactly the same. I imagine the blue wildebeest will also have like interspecies bonuses with, you know, some of the same African plains animals like the gazelle and the zebra and the giraffe and stuff like that that I actually forgot to check what the Black Wildebeest one is, but I'm pretty sure it does have interspecies bonuses with a lot of those same, you know, African savanna animals because that's, you know, that's where they live. They live in these giant herds with animals all over the place um, or those animals all over the place. As far as building goes, uh, again, habitats are going to be relatively similar between the two, not having too many different care needs. Um, I guess the blue wildebeest is actually more commonly kept in captivity. So it's nice that we are getting this guy. You know, if you wanted to pick uh, an animal that is more commonly kept in captivity to put in your zoo or a zoo that doesn't have access to maybe getting a harder to get species like the black wildebeest, I don't have any information backing that up, but I'm only guessing that either they're they're harder to get or they're not quite as successful in captivity. If you know, do let me know down in the comments below and we can kind of chat about it and that way I can learn as well because that's kind of the point of this video. I thought it might just be interesting to talk about them in comparison side by side. So definitely let me know what you think. I am, as always, I'm pretty excited about the blue wildebeest just because I love any edition of new animals and animal packs are specifically exciting to me because we get so many different species of animals instead of just four, you know, we're getting eight or seven habitat animals and one exhibit animal. In this case, five exhibit animals because we're getting different species of butterfly, uh, which will be a whole different video when we actually finally get to see those as well. But if you made it this far and you're excited, if you like this type of video, definitely let me know because it's something new. I'm thinking I'm going to record one for the spotted and the striped hyena as well. But let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like on the video and of course, hit that subscribe button. All the fun YouTube -y things that I feel like a broken record saying every time, but they help and that's why I say them. All my social media accounts are all linked down in the description below so you can follow me everywhere. And until next time, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.